Double legendaries have been announced for 9.2. Ian has mentioned this in an interview, which is interesting because this opens up a lot of potential for what you can run and what you can do for a lot of classes. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Disciplined Priest and look at the combo so you can run to make your Disciplined Priest extremely, extremely powerful. So let's go over it. The one limitation that Ian did mention is that you can only run one Covenant Legendary and one General Legendary. So because of that, we're going to have to go over the Covenant Legendaries quickly. The Mind Games Legendary you get for Venthyr isn't crazy powerful. It makes Mind Games last 3 seconds longer and increases the reverse of healing and damage by 10%. And also, depending on when Mind Games is cleansed off, if it's cleansed off at like 3 seconds, you get 15% crit. You get 5% crit for each second uh, that was left when it was cleansed off. And it's gonna go right here. Then you have Powered Command. This is the Necrolord Covenant that a lot of Shadow Priests are running currently right now. For Dish Priest and Holy Priest isn't really that good. Pretty much what it does is that when you use Unholy Nova, which is like a dot you get in, in Necrolord essentially, it's gonna summon you a Brooding Cleric, which is gonna heal your teammates and yourself for like 20 seconds. It's not bad at all. You're gonna get a lot of healing out of this, of course, but it's not a crazy legend that's gonna dramatically change your playstyle drastically it will give you some extra healing so it isn't crazy bad so we're gonna put that here as well we also have the arden wield but swami's path the way this legendary works is that it's gonna give you when you use fake guardians you're gonna get another type of fake called the haunted mask what this haunted mask do is you're gonna copy one of your fake one of your fey guardians and just copy the ability it does this is extremely powerful if it does copy a very powerful ability like cooldown reduction mana gain etc because you could have a you could conserve a lot of mana as a different priest if you get the right one to be copied this is obviously very good and has and fate guard is and night phase is definitely a popular option for a lot of this priest i probably say these three options are probably the most popular kieran is definitely a lot more niche what this kieran ability does is pretty much when you boon ascend you can reduce boot of ascendance cooldown by up to a minute when you consume a stack of the boon of the ascended with ascended eruption depending on how many stacks you consume it's going to reduce your cooldown for each stack by three seconds up to a minute so the Discipline Priest Covenants aren't really that, Legendaries aren't really that crazy. And it doesn't really matter which Covenant you run because the Legendaries you're going to combo with is just pretty much going to be the same. So I think one of the best combos for any Covenant is going to be Sefus. Sefus is extremely powerful and one of the most popular Legendaries that a lot of Priests are running. Pretty much what it does is that it reduces crowd control effects by 10%, which is going to be amazing in PvP. And when you CC, interrupt, or dispel something off an enemy your secondary stats go up by a significant amount so it's going to increase your healing by a, a lot and your damage as well so extremely powerful and like the go-to legendary for many priests overall next we have the penny one i think the penny one is also extremely powerful as well when you use power radius there's a 60 percent chance three extra pen penance bolts this is extremely powerful because if you get six penance bolts or even seven if you run that talent at the top you can just heal your target for like up to full like ridiculous amount of healing but also if you get the dark side proc and use that on an enemy you're gonna do stupid damage to that enemy and still get healing through atonement so this combo would be definitely powerful with any of these of course i think another powerful legendary that's definitely s tier in my opinion is twin of the sun priestess what this legendary does is that when you use power infusion on a on a teammate you also get power infusion as well it pretty much gives you double power infusion i would see a lot of priests run this if they're playing with spellcasters like affliction warlock this would be so good for affliction warlock it also be very good for actually any class any class that benefits a lot from haste the son of the twin priestess would be very good like a rogue a warrior pretty much every class would benefit immensely from power infusion so having this is definitely could be a good option for a lot of dish priests i think another s tier would be cursed on reflection pretty much what this does is that powered shield the damage absorbed by power shield, 20% of it is reflected back to the attacker. This is a good legendary, especially in 2v2. It could be used in 3v3 overall. The benefit you get out of this legendary is that you're going to get that overtime damage reflected back on a teammate. This is just going to add extra pressure overall, which is going to be definitely good.
now let's go to the A tier. For me personally, in my opinion, for the A tier legendaries, we have Measure Contemplation. This is definitely a very good legendary, but I, d I would not put them over any of these legendaries. This is going to increase your Shaman healing by an immense amount. It can really make your Shaman a massive heal to bring someone back from like very low percentage to full health very quickly. The problem I have with this legendary is that it doesn't... To get the full effect of a legendary, you have to not use Shadow Man. And as a Dis Priest, you're going to be using Shadow Man a lot, so you're never going to get the full benefit out of Measured Contemplation. If you could run any double legendary, this could be really good with like maybe Sefu's, maybe the Penny One, maybe Twin of the Priests. Any of these would be, it might be extremely well. But for me personally, I don't see a lot of people running this in combo with anything else, with any of the Covenant legendaries. Next, we have Vault of the Heavens. Vault of the Heavens pretty much gives your leap of faith two charges and you pull yourself to people instead of pulling them. This is not bad, especially with how many melee are in the PvP scene right now. This definitely has its uses. I don't, you could potentially run this if you do find yourself hard to kite. I don't think it's going to be needed at all. If you just, if you learn how to play the Dis Priest properly, you can run any of these. If you learn how to kite, go around pillars, you definitely don't need Vault of the Heavens. But if you want the extra mobility, you could definitely run that and combo with any of these covenants as well. Clarity of Mind. This is personally a legendary that I don't think any Dis Priest should run. What it does is that during Rapture, your power shield cost is reduced by 20% and Atonement lasts 6 seconds longer. It's not a bad legendary, but it's not the best. Like, I don't see the point of really running this at all. So I'm definitely going to put this B tier. And then we have Kiss of Death. Kiss of Death is the most trash legendary ever. <laughs> Pretty much what it does is that it reduces the Shadow Word Death's cooldown by 12 seconds and causes it to trigger Atonement when used on targets below 20%. It's, it's I just it's not a pick that I would recommend anyone runs. You don't need this. Atonement healing isn't the craziest healing in the world. You still gotta use penance, radiance, and shadow men. So personally for me, I would not even recommend this at all. But that's my predictions on what the double edge is that people are gonna be running. If they do open it up where you're able to combo any two legendaries, this this could potentially make the Dish Priest super, super powerful. The one issue with that is that some classes just benefit more from their Covenants than others. And for the Dish Priest specifically, the Covenant legendaries aren't really that crazy for the Dish Priest to the point where it drastically changes their playstyle. Like if you take a Boomkin, for example, their Night Fade Covenant legendary literally makes their one of their, their most powerful ability a one minute cooldown instead of two minutes. That's such a drastic change that boomies are gonna take full advantage of with double legendaries but with the priest it's not that drastic at all with any of their legendaries specifically if you come when you combo with the covenant and just the general legendaries but we're gonna see in the future what happens if stuff open up and they do start they do allow combos with any type of legendaries that would be very interesting and i would definitely will make an update video on that but if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to like make sure to subscribe make sure to comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace